around Kerpior, they ravaged the countryside, forcing other slaves to join them, looting, robbing, burning everything while they make their camp in the escarpments of Vesuvius. Each day swells their numbers. The situation presently lies in the hands of this august body. Where's the mighty Crassus? Out of the city. At least you're here. No need to fear for Rome as long as Glabrus is with us. And let me add, over a hundred estates that have been burned. Among them, gentlemen, my own. Burned to the ground and three million sesterces lost. I propose the immediate recall of Pompey and his legions from Spain. Mm, I could raise 500 men and bring a whole lot of them in. Don't make a fool of yourself. Why uh, call back the legions from the garrison of Rome? It's nothing to do but to defend us from sausage makers. <laughs> Let's send Glabrus against these scoundrels. Give them a taste of Roman steel. I protest. I most strongly protest. There are more slaves in Rome than Romans. With the garrison absent, what's to prevent them from rising too? Well, I uh, did not say the whole garrison. Six cohorts will more than do the job. The rest can stay in Rome to save you from your housemaids. <laughs> Will you accept such a charge, Glabrus? I accept the charge of the Senate if the Senate truly charges me. The garrison of Rome stands ready. Uh, slave hunting's a dirty business. It takes a brave commander to consent to it. I propose that we turn the city out tomorrow in tribute to Glabrus as he marches through. Yeah. And uh, for temporary command of the garrison during his absence, I propose Caius Julius Caesar. You don't look very happy over the new job. It's not a serious disturbance. Glabrus will be back. Maybe. At least he gives me a chance to separate Glabrus from Crassus for a while. You know, this republic of ours is something like a rich widow. Most Romans love her as their mother. But Crassus dreams of marrying the old girl, to put it politely. Hail Glabrus! Hail Glabrus! Hail Glabrus! God be with you, Glabrus. And with you, too. I hope he returns to such applause. Oh, one fat one, Fembria. No, 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 no. Keep the chain and give it to your wife. May the gods adore you. Only through your prayers, Fembria. Let's break an old-fashioned sacrifice for glabrous success. Hmm? I thought you had reservations about the gods. Privately, I believe in none of them. Neither do you. Publicly, I believe in them all. Greetings, Marcus Claudius Flavius. Yeah.